What's up guys, Ryan Lane with Lane's Barbecue. Today we're gonna do a quick and easy steak recipe that's sure gonna please the palates of your family. All right, we have got a 10 ounce center cut filet. Here's what I would say, we've talked about this before. If you're gonna do steak, get something you like. You can always cook it and then slice it up, make it go a little bit farther. Um, all right, so we're gonna go, this is kind of like our OG version. We're gonna reverse sear this bad boy, but we're gonna take a little bit of this. This is how you know when you're addicted to the W sauce, because you find the big bottles at Sam's. However, you get the little size at lanesbbq.com. Check them out. All right, just a little bit on each side, just as a binder. We're going to do some uh, roasted mushrooms as well that have the sauce in it and kind of tie it all together. All right, going brisket rub first. It's got a nice layer of salt, pepper, and garlic. With a thick cut like this, you really want a good base of uh, salt on there too. And then we're gonna use our ancho espresso. It's got fresh ground roasted espresso. Espresso. <laughs> it's a little cold outside. All right. We've got our buddy Melvin Farr has been roasting this for us for the last eight years. So veteran owned, it's fantastic. Here we go. Remember guys, lots of kids to put through school. Make sure you season well. All right, here's what we wanna do. We want this to sit out for about 30 minutes, room temp, let those flavors kind of marry together. Then we're gonna throw them on the grill low and slow until we get up to the right temp and then we'll sear it off. All right, we're gonna reverse sear this. So we're actually gonna do it straight over the fire but we're gonna cook it about 275 on the grill till the steak reaches an internal temp of 120 degrees. Then we'll pull it off and walk you through the rest of the process. All right, well that steak's cooking. We're gonna do some quick and easy mushrooms that you can actually just cook right on the grill. Let's get yourself a little stock pot you with know, a pat of butter, put that in there. Got just one package of some sliced baby bellas. Hit it back with some more of that W sauce just to tie all those flavors in. And then we're gonna go with uh, some more ancho espresso. I love the earthiness of this, a little sweet. Get that chili spice in there, it's good stuff. All right, onto the grill. All right, so we've got this up to 120 degrees. We're gonna take it off, let it rest. Here's what we're gonna do. We're actually letting this rest on our concave board. That way it catches all the juices. So we're gonna let this steak rest for about five, 10 minutes while we get the grill really hot. All right, time for some flames. Look, we've let this steak rest. You can see that, that little bit of butter has melted on there. All right, so what we're gonna do is take your tongs, watch your arm hair. And go flip. About 30 to 45 seconds on each side. You're good to go. All right, I know too much butter, but remember that first bit of butter we actually threw off on the grills. So this is kind of like the resting piece. 
So now we're gonna let it rest again for about another five to 10 minutes. Here's the thing, you got an expensive cut of meat, you've worked really hard to make it right. Now you can't just dive right into it. You gotta let it rest for about 10 minutes. Let those juices all kind of redistribute throughout the meat, be ready to go. So look, you can see all the butter and the steak juices all mixed together in the board. All right, so now key part, you want to make sure to cut against the grain. So with a filet, it's pretty easy to tell. You can actually see the grain is running this way. You can see where it's kind of split open. So we're going to cut against it. Look at that. Medium rare perfection. that all the way through all right I'm gonna fan it out some of those mushrooms on there all right oh yeah All right guys, we took a 10 ounce filet, turned it into a steak for two. We got steak, mushrooms, easy to pair it with some asparagus or something green on the side. Look, I'm going for that centerpiece. That perfectly cooked steak. Look, you can tell when you cut it against the grain, it should just tear right apart for you. Oh yeah, all right. Hey, cheers. Hmm. Perfect salt from that brisket. We got that earthiness, a little bit of sweet from the ancho espresso, a little bit of butter, and those beautiful double W sauce mushrooms on top. You're gonna love this. Mm.